Hi everyone. Hope everyone of you is fine, all good and all well. And this is Rizwan here. Uh, one of the senior consultants with, with Alif. And today I am going to discuss a very hot or you know a very known topic of exchange or with Office 365 which is archiving unlimited archiving what is the requirement for this and what are the storage levels which Microsoft 365 has with it when it comes to exchange online and email storage so let's quickly get started with this one and if you'd be having any questions understanding this you can let me know by contacting me on info at alifconsulting.com or you can share your views and feedbacks in over here once this gets live so archiving mechanism what is it what is an archive mailbox what does it refers to and why is it being required or given by Microsoft so at the very initial level if you would have attended my sessions on mailboxes and what are the plans which gets in the way with mailbox that is a user mailbox which gets in the way with uh, two two primary licenses or two service plans which we which we say in our technical terms of office 365 as exchange online plan one which gives you a 50 gigs of a storage and exchange online plan two which gives you a hundred gigs of a storage once once you move across these things i mean once your mailbox reaches hundred gigs or let's say okay let me give you an example of uh, the first one once your mailbox reaches 50 gigs so definitely you'd be having an option to get it upgraded to a plan 2 option which would simply increase your storage quota from 50 GB to 100 GB but yes there's a catch to it let's say if you do not want to get it moved from 50 GB to 100 GB because that effect definitely would be cost including and uh, many of them would not like that uh, structure uh, so there would be some people who would who might think that you know what I would be doing in with this uh, with this 50 GB of remaining data the one which is the data which is from the past and it is of no use to me so they can simply go ahead with the deletion mechanism by running retention policies so that the data gets in deleted or they can manually delete the data and automatically their mailboxes size would get down to somewhere from 50 GB to, to 1 GB 2 GB or anything it would be depending on what retention policies are applied to it if it is for deletion and delete the emails for after one month one year six months and so on but coming to the second point what if there would be some users who would say no no I do not want to get this done what I would be doing is I'd be getting an upgraded my plan from a plan 1 to a plan 2 and I'll simply be getting the remaining 50 GB and I'm very good to go with that and start using that data mechanism so a point a saturation point would come and at a certain point that even that 100 gigs would get fulfilled and now there would be a decision making uh, you know ability as if you know now what next earlier we were being deleting that data and we were getting that data we were getting that data so some of it who would who would for which you know data would not again be important they can delete it but yes if you would have been doing that you would have already done that once you were supposed to be getting it upgraded instead of from plan one to plan two and you would have get it done then and there itself so for some people and some heavy users like sales users or who tend to do promotions so people these people or the HR people with some big organizations what these guys tend to do is irrespective of even they have a 10 years old email or a 15 years old email they'd like to get it secure they'd like to get it reserved and they simply like to get simply do not like to get it deleted then what next so in those scenarios Microsoft what it does is it gives you an additional storage capability definitely that would again be included with with the archiving solutions unlike you purchase the subscription plan for a plan one or plan two because these are the only two key plans even if you would be getting the highest level of a plan that is even a business premium or an e3 enterprise or an e5 enterprise or an m365 enterprise e5 as well the most as a primary mailbox what you can get to yourself is 100 gb only you cannot go ahead on 100 gb the level of primary mailbox gets ended up over there so the second picture which comes into existence is secondary mailbox or, or you can also term it and call it as a archive mailbox so the moment you enable archiving on any one of your mailbox so similar to it 
whatever you have a primary mailbox hierarchy of 100 GB you'll get one more hierarchy that is 100 GB 100 GB archive mailbox now initially your mailbox would be like 100 GB of a primary mailbox and 100 GB of an archive mailbox so this is how it would go on and with it you'd be getting 200 GBs of data but yes uh, it would it would be quite uh, you know a simple concept that if your mailboxes sizes limit for the primary mailbox you need to release some space in order to receive fresh emails because fresh emails are only being supposed to deliver onto your primary mailbox and not to your secondary mailbox so retention policies would come into picture you'd be assigning those retention policies with the help of the tags you'll just say that whichever emails which i have uh, in my primary mailbox of six months everything after six months should be moved to my secondary mailbox that is the archive mailbox so as per the retention policies and tags gets up getting and applied to that mailbox automatically when mrm catches that yes this is email is more than six month old and i'm going to catch this email and send this send this to the secondary mailbox that is the archive mailbox so that process gets started and literally your primary mailbox would get down and automatically that data would be transferred from your primary mailbox to the archive mailbox again a catch to it a time would still come that your primary mailbox would always be empty i mean whichever items which would be six months old mrm would again process on it and move that data to the uh, the archive mailbox but to a point once your archive mailbox reaches 100 GB then what next then there's the other concept which is called as auto archiving which we are going to check up in the the next coming article and our what is archiving what is unlimited archiving we just checked archiving because when primary mailbox gets full we enable archiving and when archiving mailbox gets full we enable auto archiving so these are just the features of the archiving wherein if you would say about licenses so it just says that it would be available for all the licenses within your organization who ha which has the exchange online licenses features it would be having yes applied on the settings as per the mrm so basically it is completely dependent on the mrm and the retention policies and the tags which which gets in applied with it and similar to that uh, the the mailbox which would be enabled uh, you know this can easily be done up using your exchange or the office administrators that is the global administrators only and the storage quota which sees in over here is again so first uh, the archiving mailbox it is 100 gigs and once it reaches that limit it would be going to unlimited archiving we say it is unlimited archiving previously it was set to one terabyte but since now microsoft has increased it up up to 1.5 terabytes terabyte that is the size of the archiving mailbox so including it would be like a hundred gb uh, archiving mailbox and anything which goes above 100 is your unlimited archiving okay deletion this is again one of the feature wherein if you would like to delete that data at any time you can get it done and you can also get it done when you have the archiving or the auto expanding archiving feature enabled okay so this is what what all auto expand archive speaks about when your archiving folder goes past 100 gigs then what you see as the as the image itself says the very first thing before number one is primary mailbox after that is archive mailbox after that is the number two which says additional storage now don't get confused between two and three because one is archiving mailbox two is the mailbox which gets an unlimited you know i mean whenever if you need to enable auto expand archiving so let's say if your mailbox is if your archive mailbox's size has reached 90 gb and even 100 gb or 95 gb if you need to enable auto archiving so automatically it would get increased from 100 gb to 110 from 110 it would reach 230 from 130 it would reach to 170 and from 170 it would keep on increasing so it is not like you know you can get it enabled and the storage quota size would look to you like 1.5 terabyte no it is not the situation let's say if you have reached it for 100 so it would reach 110 so automatically till it reaches 110 it is not going to get forward 230 
from 130 it is not going to get forwarded to 170 till the time it reaches 170 this is how the mechanism of that works with with auto expand archiving okay that would be all from my side for this one if you like to have a quick glimpse of how to enable archiving using the GUI or and using the PowerShell I'll quickly show you those options in over here so you see this whichever mailboxes with C's uh, archiving associated with their name with the within the mailbox type so for them archiving is already enabled if you uh, look at my mailbox in over here it says in place archive which is set to enable you can clearly disable it from here if you click on view details it is going to give you the details so if you see my archiving is enabled for 100 gigs because my primary mailbox is also 100 uh, is also 100 gigs okay that is the reason it have provisioned me an archive of 100 gb now if you see in over here 131 um, 0.92 mix of data is already being transferred to my archiving mailbox meaning definite it, it simply means that I definitely have a retention policy whose job is to move the emails from the primary mailbox to archive mailbox because I cannot do this manually and get it uh, get it worked and how to check it whether I have the hierarchy for uh, primary mailbox as well as archive mailbox or not is with this so these are all my folders and you see this in place archive so if you see whichever emails let's say if i have an email within my inbox that is six month old if i'm telling i have higher retention policy of six months okay so automatically it is going to create an inbox folder for me here and it is going to copy that email for me from this inbox to this inbox it is not copy i would say it would be a move action so it, the email would get removed from this primary mailbox and it would be setting up over here in my archives mailbox so this hierarchy would also be getting created by the MRM so MRM does all these jobs okay it creates in the similar kind of an hierarchy and if you see I have sent items I also have my custom items which clearly means that the retention policy which is being applied to my mailbox is actually a default tag policy which gets in applied to my complete mailbox okay so this is the archiving and I'll not be able to check the auto expanding archiving feature from here because there's no such option to be able to get it checked from uh, from the GUI we can easily get it checked using this so it would be get dash mailbox hyphen identity and if I click on respond and reach12.com not click type in sorry about that and if I type in archive so this is my archives mailbox database similar to what uh, a normal mailbox database also contains because mailboxes always get stored in a database so this is my archives mailbox database I we don't we shouldn't be fo focusing on that if you see this my archive status status over here is active archive quota has been given as 100 gigs and the warning quota which I'd get started notified would be of 90 gigs and if you see in this option auto expand archiving this is actually being set to false so in case if I need to enable auto expanding archiving right now my local archive my archive is just not even zero percent because I've just used 131 mix out of 100 GB so in case if it reaches that limit or in case if I need to get it enabled for my mailbox that would be auto expanding archive I can get it done the only command I need to use is enable hyphen mailbox hyphen identity which would be my mailbox's email address hyphen this would be the switch we call it as a switch or a parameter so hyphen auto expanding archiving enable set to colon dollar true the moment i would be running this command automatically it would enable my archiving if you want to see this i can quickly show you enable hyphen mailbox hyphen identity rizwan hyphen if I just make the use of this command by auto expand and I press the tab key you see auto expand archive and if I set this to dollar true I believe there should be a colon in over here I'm running this there it is if it is taking time it means that yes how oh, you see so it has simply enabled this because I've just set it to true and now how to get this checked simple 
I would be running the same command again get hyphen mailbox identity this and show me the value where it contains the keyword as archive and now if you see this see so what it means is that I've already enabled auto expanding so in future if my archive mailbox gets full okay you see focus here see what is the change if you see these values the moment I enabled archive it, it changed my status so by default now my archiving unlimited archiving is enabled with the help of this command so initially the limit was set to 90 gigs now it has been changed to 100 gigs and the archive quota over here was set to 100 gigs which is now being changed to 110 gigs what does this means is that if at, uh, to a saturation point if my archive quota goes 110 GB automatically this number as I've told you in, in this session uh, it would go to 130 then it would go to 170 and it would keep on moving and rolling okay now it would not move on irrespective till the time the, the mailbox's archive quota reaches 110 GB it is not going to roll out it is not going to get this this figure increased okay this is how this mechanism works within within office 365 and with the help of this I've also showed you that how to enable um, unlimited archiving enabling archive is pretty simple you'd be using set hyphen mailbox and not enable hyphen mailbox if you just need to enable archiving and the command would be archiving status oh sorry uh, enable archive dollar true and it would get it enabled and if you need to enable uh, auto expanding unlimited archive so it would be hyphen auto expand archiving dollar true but the command would be enable hyphen mailbox and not set hyphen mailbox okay if you have any questions on this session kindly kindly let me know and I'd be more than happy enough to answer your queries I hope you guys have enjoyed this videos and if you have anything which needs to be uh, shared shared with me you can uh, you guys can contact me on info at alifconsulting.com and that would be more than enough for me that is that is all from my side you guys take care of yourself and you stay safe and stay blessed stay happy stay healthy bye